hello guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing something a little different i'm not talking about fashion or really history or anything of or like anything of that sort but today we're going to be i'm going to be ranking one of my favorite film franchises of all time um this is the child's play franchise i have been a fan of child's play since i was a child myself um and chucky never was really that scary there are some horror icons who are so scary that i can't even really watch the movie or even have their name set um in my presence so um for this we're really gonna just um dive into it and we're gonna be ranking them in order so we're gonna start off with the first ever child's play listen this is one of my favorite films of all time um, I'm not that big of a horror movie fan, but I can watch this movie over and over again. And it's honestly because it's not really that scary. It's more of a thriller or thriller. How do you say it? Thriller, thriller, thriller. It's more of a thriller, thriller. It's more of a thriller than it is um, a like a horror slasher film. But it's so good. And I love it that it's in the 80s. And I'm born and raised and I currently live in in the beautiful city of Chicago, and that is where this movie was filmed. This building right here is on the north side in Lincoln Park. Um, freak, I forget the name of the um building, but it's so it's a beautiful building, and it's also and there's a lot of architecture like this, um, around Chicago. There's even a building on the corner from where I used to live in Bronzeville on the south side of Chicago. Um, that looks just like that. And half of this movie was even filmed on the south side of Chicago. Um, the stop where Andy gets off of the train at 43rd is where I, you know, used to get on the train at when I lived, um, over there, um, at 43rd. Um, also where, um, Chucky killed Eddie Caputo in the movie is also in Bronzeville. So half of this movie was filmed in my neighborhood, Bronzeville, where I grew up. And it's also some scenes of Carson Prairie Scott. There are scenes in the back alley, like, um, by kind of where my college is. And there's actually a scene, um, in the movie where, um, the cop kills Charles Lee Ray. And, um, that's filmed across the street from my school, from the Wabash building. It's such a good movie. Now, I will say a lot of people... Um, don't really rate this that high because they feel like this movie is full of just suspense and it's not really full of like the slashing and guys this is the first movie so they have to give that suspense they have to give that 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 wander that 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 you know on the edge of the seat type feel before they get to the main point but I love this movie it's actually my favorite movie from the child's play franchise not only because it's filmed in my city and where I'm from it's really the origin story kind of in a way the the origin story is really more so in the other like in the last part of this but you know i love this movie and i gotta give this movie a 10 out of 10 because it is my favorite one now we are going to child's play 2 child's play 2 takes place in the suburb of chicago as andy um who chucky terrorizes to get his body continues on a hunt for him and chucky is now taken away from his mom he has moved to a suburb of chicago and he now lives with a whole new family um a foster family with a foster sister kyle um and this family they're kind of like eerie of him they don't they think that he's trouble because he's so traumatized by this doll they don't really believe that this doll is alive they they put another doll in there just to just to um take his worries away and you know but this movie is where the humor of Child's Play kind of starts. But it's really, 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 like, not a lot. It's kind of mild. Um, it's really not there, to be honest. But there's, like, little one-liners and little small humorous things there. Um, so, basically, everything in this movie is from the, from the first Child's Play. The animatronics, I would have to say, have been... They were really evolved because... Um, the first Child's Play was 1988, um, filmed in, like, I think, eight, late 1987, so the animatronics really weren't there. Um, I think Don Mancini said that he had to wait until Gremlins was filmed so he could really have the perfect animatronics to do Chucky. Um, ooh, so, yeah, basically it's like the, the animatronics are a little bit more evolved in this movie since this is 1990, but... 
I like this movie. I think the ending is so epic and the um toy store and Chucky melts to death and the 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 um the beginning part is kind of odd because it's kind of it kind of seems like they did not know what the hell to do. So basically, had to like electrocute the doll to bring it back to life. It was kind of like odd, but other than that, I love this movie. Um, I also rate this a ten out of ten. Um, and it goes right along with the first one, but the first one holds up the number one spot in my heart. Now we get to Child's Play three, which it takes this different turn. Um, Andy who is played by Alex Vincent, was not played by Alex Vincent in Child's Play 3. And Child's Play 3 comes out a year later um, in 1991, and they wanted a... They didn't, want for, they didn't want to wait for Alex Vincent to actually grow up, so they just brought in a whole new actor in. Um, Andy's away at um, military school. Um, he hates it, and... You know, Chucky is sent there to terrorize him again, but he finds a new blo- a new body. He finds this, um, this black, this little black boy. He wants to, you know, put his soul in in there. Um, he tricks him by saying, "Let's play hide the soul" or some stuff like that. Now, again, the humor is a little bit more amped up in this because I remember it's this one scene. And I'm black myself, so it's this one funny scene where he's just like, uh, I can't remember what he said, but he's like. Can you believe this? Chucky's gonna gonna be a brother. He's gonna I'm gonna be a bro or something like that. And it's just funny because how black people, you know, it's 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 funny humor. Um But this movie, I'm not really, you know, feeling it. <laughs> like like I this is not a go to Chucky movie that I'd actually would watch. It's not. Um but it's it's not bad, I'll say that. It's not a bad movie whatsoever. It's just not really my favorite of the Child's Play franchise. I'm not really feeling it. It's just, it's just there, really. Um, I'll play Child's Play 1 and 2 and then skip to the, the fourth movie because I'm not really, you know, feeling this one. But other than that, it's it's still a movie that I would watch. I'm just, it's not my go-to watch. And I got to rate this one a 4 out of 10. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all, I know some people love it. Although I will say the ending is epic where... They're on the amusement park ride, and the Grim Reaper chops off. Well, the Grim Reaper uh, animatronic statue that's in the amusement park chops off Chucky's face and rips him to pieces. He falls in the fan. That's epic, but I'm not really feeling it like that. So, got to give it a 4 out of 10. The next movie is Bride of Chucky. And listen, y'all, this movie is one of my favorites. It int- it's the introduction that we get to Tiffany Valentine. Chucky's love interest. Now, this is also a play on the of the Bride of Frankenstein, as we all know, which is a horror movie freaking classic. Um, I love it. I love this movie, and as you can see, that the slashes on Chucky's face because in the beginning, Tiffany in human form, which is played by Jennifer Tilly, um, takes Chucky and she sews him back up together as best as she can, and then does the um, uh, I didn't do the Dembella. um, the Dembella chance and she brings him back to life um from the dead but i i love it this is where we get to see see tiffany she's one of my favorites from this franchise and she's just a bad bitch that's all i can say about tiffany she's that girl and then in the beginning when we see her in human form played by jennifer tilly i love the scene where she walks in to um living dead girl by um rob zombie it's so a lot of people don't know that's Rob Zombie, and we know really Rob Zombie from the Halloween um, adaptations he did. But I'm obsessed. I love this movie. Um, you know, it's 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 a good movie. I love the scene where Tiffany is getting um, dressed in doll form, and they play "Call Me by Blondie." So good. I'm obsessed with it. It was something else I wanted to say about this, but I can't really think of it. Um, Oh, yeah, the, the backstory. Basically, Tiffany and Chucky have been love interests for a very, very long time. And she ends up finding out about him being in the doll from Charles Lee Ray. Well, Tiffany and Charles were really together, basically. And she finds out about him being in the doll and blah, blah, blah. So she finds hunts the doll down in the evidence locker in uh, Hackensack, New Jersey. And it's crazy. But, yeah, I get this, I give this movie a 10 out of 10. It's really good. I I love it. Now, the next movie is Seed of Chucky, and y'all are gonna, like, gag at this, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all. 
I love this movie. This movie gets so much hate, and I kind of understand why, but I love this movie. In Bride of Chucky, that is where the humor really amped up at. This movie, the humor was in full effect. Full effect. Now, I love it. I don't care what no one says. I actually love this movie. Now, there are some things I feel like that could, could have been toned down. Um, and in this movie, basically, um, Jennifer Tilly, who plays um, Tiffany in the last movie, she plays herself and Tiffany in this movie. It's actually kind of confusing. You'll have to really have to watch it to understand. And um, Chucky and Tiffany, they have their baby, Glenn slash Glenda. Uh, I love the fact that they tackle LGBTQ problems in this because I believe Don Mancini is an openly gay man and, um, you know, identity stuff. So I, you know, I, I love it. And Glenn and Glenda, I think, he, I think they were a, um, an interesting addition to this horror movie franchise um i don't dislike this at all you know they have this is star studded they have red man um they have shoot what is that other guy's name he's like a director they have red man they have john waters they have this is a really and actually a good a, like a good cast it's not, it's not really that bad it's it's just it's the humor i feel like it's taken a little bit too far in this so it's 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 i don't know I don't know, but I will say I do love Tiffany's makeover in this. As you can see, she looks a little bit different from the Tiffany in the last movie. Her mouth structure has changed a bit, but um, I do, I do, I do, I do love this movie. I'm going to be honest with you. I know a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people hate it, hate it, freaking hate it. But to be honest, I, 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 I like it. I like it. I don't care what no one says. I like it. And I got to give this movie a 7 out of 10. And I only give it a 7 out of 10 because I know it, it it still has some things that I don't like about it. I can't put my freaking toe on it right now. But there are some things that I don't really like about this movie. It's not really the best. Um, but I but I still love it. Like, I literally, it, like, I know some people don't click on their TV and they're just like, oh, I'll watch Tita Chucky. I'm that person. I'll watch, I, I'll watch Tita Chucky, you know? i rather watch Child, the other... Child's Play 1 and 2 before I watch Cedar Chucky, but again, I still love Cedar Chucky. And the kills in this are so ruthless. I will say, like, the the scene in the beginning where they snatch the wire around the uh, studio guy's neck, and then Tiffany pulls one side, Chucky pulls the other side, and his neck snaps, and his head flies in the air. Oh, my God. Uh, when Tiffany kills Redman, it flushes out his intestines. So interesting. And I love how, um, with Jennifer Tilly, they give her this... Uh, they have this funny sense of humor where they have her basically make fun of herself and say that she's a washed up actress. It's really interesting. You guys should actually watch this movie. It's pretty funny. The next one is Curse of Chucky. I think that this is actually a decent thriller. I'm not a big fan of the doll design in this. I'm not. I don't know. It's 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 really odd. I'm not a fan. <laughs> not a fan of it. But basically, in this one, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm filming this at 2 in the morning, so <laughs> it's pretty, you know, it's pretty, you know. But in this one, basically, Chucky, he seeks revenge. Um, he just kind of terrorizes the family in this. I believe, um, oh, what's her name? I believe Nika is the, I want to say, the daughter of a woman he kidnapped. You'll find out about that if you watch the, the, the series. Um, but it's not bad. Um, it's 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 in a more modern feel because this one came out in 2013. So it's definitely in a more way more modern feel. This is actually a straight-to-DVD movie. I believe it is. I think it is. I think this, I think this is a straight-to-DVD movie. So, you know, when, listen, when movies leave the theaters and they go straight to DVD, you know something. Um, <laughs> you definitely know something, but it's not, it's not bad at all. Um, but it's not one that I really like as well, but it's not bad. I, I definitely need to watch it. I give this movie a seven out of 10. The next one is Cult of Chucky. Now, <laughs> this one, again, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. I don't know how to feel about it. It's really... 
I will say though, the kills in this are straight up ruthless. I'm talking like ridiculous. My favorite one is the mirror scene when, um, uh, I forgot how it happens, but the mirror comes down the woman when she's in, on the operating bed and it just slices her to pieces. This is a good movie when it comes to the kills. Um, the humor is in this. I really don't. I understand the different Chuckies and the different bodies. I'll say that when they put the different Chuckies in a different when they when they put Charles Lee Ray's souls into the different Chucky dolls and it's legitimately a cult. Like it's so many of them there. It's so many dolls and they go on this killing spree. It's 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 I don't know. It's interesting. But I will say I love the fact that they brought Alex Vincent back. Bro, I'm sorry. I love the fact that they brought Alex Vincent back for this because He's such a staple in this. Come on now, we can't get a forget about Alex. He's such a staple in this. I love the fact that the fact that they brought him back and the fact that they brought him back ready for Chucky. They brought him back and they used trauma. You know, they used this, they used that to really understand like why he's so ready and why he will never give up on um this idea of Chucky. And, you know, and they show him in a scene where his girl is like he's saying, like back in Chicago when I was younger. Um, this happened and that happened and I, my doll and, and she gets up and leave when, when in reality he's telling the truth and he's really traumatized by this. So, um, it sticks with him for life. He has to live his incomplete life in fear and it's, it's really interesting. You know, it's pretty interesting with this. Um, also in this, um, movie, they bring back Tiffany, but, but Tiffany is now in Jennifer Tilly's body. At the end of Seed of Chucky in the hospital, Tiffany transfers her soul into Jennifer Tilly's body um, right before the Tiffany doll dies. Um, but you can also see that right right at the very end when Jennifer Tilly uh, or Tiffany kills her maid. Um, but she's now Jennifer Tilly. And... Um, she, you know, is living like Jennifer Tilly, but she ha she's still Tiffany. So they bring her back in this. Uh, I give this movie a 4 out of 10 because, again, I'm not really feeling it. It's not a movie that I can really, really, really watch like that. But, again, there are some things I like about it. So, actually, scratch this. Scratch it. I give it a 6 out of 10. I'm not going to go all the way back and then try to paste another score here but i give it a six out of ten ignore that four the next part of this chucky series is not a movie it's actually an actual tv series television series and this is the chucky series now i love it i love this series i come on now i love it they bring back all the iconic characters from andy to tiffany as jennifer tilly to um what do you call it? What, 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 oh, shoot. Um, they bring back Glenn and Glenda in the second season. And they bring back so many iconic characters. They even bring back Kyle from um, Child's Play 2. I, I love this. You know, it's, 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 it's a good... Um, it shows the backstory of Charles Lee Ray. Um, it shows how he came from Hackensack, New Jersey. Uh, goes to New York. Then goes to Chicago. Um, where the journey started of him and the doll, it, 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 it is so good. It shows why he's a killer psychologically, what he was going through. I love it. Um, I love how he's back in Hackensack and he's terrorizing these teenagers and, um, there's these teenage, um, like, uh, cast and it shows their different lives basically. Um, now I've watched both seasons. There's only two seasons out. I've watched season one and I season two. I love season two. Don't get me wrong. I love season two. You have got to be freaking kidding me. I love season two so much. Um, it's a really good series. You all should watch it. It's, I love it. I'm so ready for season three. I hope they renew for season three because I'm really ready for season three. Um, um, it's so good, guys. Um, I watched... I know season one is available on Peacock. I had to download another uh, streaming service to watch season two. And I ended up... Um, so I ended up canceling my subscription before they took the money out. Because um, I really wasn't going to keep that to watch the whole series. But I give this a 9 out of 10. Um, because I'm not... Because I prefer season two over season... 
one. So I gotta give it a nine set. But then again, this score really might change because it's a series. So the plot is everlasting. It's ever going. It's continuing. It's a continuation. So it's gonna. It's, it's this is gonna change. Right now, it's a nine out of ten um, because of how I'm feeling about season one. And there are also some things in this in this that I kind of like ridiculous in a way that I can't really put my finger on. It's kind of like stupid sometimes. But other than that. That is that, and that completes my um, um, not ranking my rating of all the Chucky movies and Chucky series and things and of that nature. It's literally three a.m. I'm about to pass out because I'm tired, but I just want to make this and film it and upload it because why not? This is one of my favorite film franchises, film franchises, film franchises ever. Oh my god, this is how you know that I'm tired, but. Chucky is a staple in a horror movie in in the horror movie community. Um, again, I'm not the biggest horror movie fan, but I I will say Chucky has always intrigued me. The fact that the journey begins in Chicago, um, the fact that the soul was transferred into the doll, and I, I really really I love movies that are filmed in Chicago. I feel so at home watching them, and in this movie, by it being so authentically filmed in Chicago, well, the first one, let's go back there. By the first one being so authentically filmed in Chicago, I really feel such an attachment to that because it's just like, I, I love it. Being filmed in my neighborhood, down the street from where I grew up, it's it's something that's so close to home and I'll forever love this movie. I'll forever love this film franchise. So I wanted to do my rating of the movies um, and you guys already know that my favorite one is 10 out of 10. So that's that. So don't forget to like, subscribe and come back for more.